Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and today I will be doing a reading for the Capricorn General Collective. This is a general reading, so whatever comes up, comes up. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. As you know, tarot is not an end-all be-all to all life circumstances. This being said, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you choose to take it for guidance, that is of your own free will. I just say what the cards are showing me. So, don't shoot the spiritual messenger. Thank you, and that is all. And we will be starting the ride in five, four, three two one please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times as to avoid unnecessary deambulation thank you have a, a great day and let's get started spirit said let's get started too information that can help you but is also difficult to hear you have to speak the truth with kindness, Capricorn. Listen, Capricorn, speak the truth with kindness. You may be an Indigo child or an adult. Oh, you're heading towards an emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends, possibly children, people surrounding you that you can trust. Protect your career. Protect the fruits of your labors. Protect your career. Protect what you're passionate about. Protect what you're putting your energy and effort into. Oh, a resolution of difficult situations is coming. A weight is being lifted off your shoulders. And the end of an addiction or a codependent cycle. You are about to see a karmic justice happen right before your very eyes. You are taking time out to renew yourself and find your spiritual self and your own personal journey. You are looking for your own personal passion. This is your mission. It's your purpose in life. It's what you are here to do. What it's, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> everything happens for a reason. You are exactly in the place that you need to be. There have been things that have happened in your life that have caused you to take a step back, to end difficult situations, to create the emotional fulfillment in yourself that you want in your life you are grateful and you have a lot to celebrate you have you are cultivating you are manifesting deep feelings of happiness and peace into your life you are you're you're essentially i know i say essentially all the time been pointed out thank you duly noted sorry about that i also say i'm sorry a lot trauma you are trusting that there is a reason for everything that is happening in your life you believe that there is a reason why you went through what you went through and there is a reason why you're currently ending the codependent cycles and the addictive cycles and the toxic negative cycles that you were dealing with, all the karma that you were dealing with. The information that's going to help you, but it's also a little difficult to hear. Like, hey, dude, your best friend cheated with your wife. Yeah, that's some difficult information, Capricorn, and I understand that. So, like, I may not sugarcoat things, but I'm also not heartless. I'm an empath by nature. So I, I, the definition of empathy is the exact opposite of being heartless. <laughs> like, exactly. 
So I don't mean to be heartless, but I am blunt and I have no filter. Blame that on my Aries sun, my Leo moon, and my Gemini rising signs. Also blame the two placements in Virgo that I have in two placements in Leo. They, mm, I can be really rigid about some things and I like to do things to perfection. Now we're gonna get a little more info. Cause we need that info. Capricorn needs a T. They need to know what's going on. Why are these people messing with them the way that they are? It's like hardcore stunting on you. Like, these people are in your business that don't even need to be knowing what your business is. Like, you've got aunties that haven't talked to you for years trying to get the tea on you. Wow. You glowing up. You about to, you about to hit a blow up. That's why everyone's trying to find out what Capricorn is doing right now. Everything happens for a reason, Capricorn. You have a lot to celebrate. You do. And people are going to start coming around. They're going to be like, what's Capricorn doing? I need to know. I need to know. And some of your addictions may flare up, but you've got the strength. You know. You're going through a rebirth. You know that this is your purpose. You know you're headed to your purpose. You know you're headed to your the meaning for you in life. All right. You're headed there. And you know you are. But you can't take everyone with you. I had this problem. So, and I'm just going to tell you this this little story that I have. If you guys don't like my anecdotes, you can put it in the freaking comments. That's fine. You're not hurting me, but I'm probably not going to stop doing them. So, you may want to move on to another tarot reader. I had this problem, right? Where I want, want, and wanted to take every person that I love in my life that I've ever loved with me when when I'm like ascending or leveling up and unfortunately I've come to the realization that not everyone deserves to go with me on this rise and it's a hard realization to for me because I want to genuinely help all the people in my life. But when you have people in your life that have taken you for granted and um, pushed you to the side and treated you like, well, crap, do they deserve to go with you? And the answer, Capricorn, is definitely not. And in my, in my personal situation, in my life situation, I've come to learn that even though I want to, even though I want to take everyone I love with me in my life, like on the rise, I want to take them, I want to help them all, I want them all to come with me. As I heal, I want them to meet the healed version of me. And I want them to know her. So I've also come to the realization that not everyone that I love deserves to come with me on my ride because they've treated me wrong and they've done like egregious things to me, horrible things to me. And now I may love them and that's, that may be the case. I love unconditionally, unconditionally. I love humans. I hate people. All right. Unconditionally, I love humans. I hate people because people want to put everyone into categories. People want to label everything. People want to compare. People want to contrast. People want to damn, demean, belittle. And humans just want to love and be loved. And it doesn't matter who loves or they are loved by. They just want, as a human soul, to know love. 
and people introduce the concept of hate, discontent, and all of this into our lives. And we aren't that way naturally. We are not hateful. We don't automatically hate other humans. We don't. Instantly, if you look at children and you go based upon children, we have an innate um, gift to love another human soul. We don't judge. We don't fear. We just love. Little tiny beings, little tiny humans, they love. And they love who loves them. And they know. They know if you're a good human or a bad human. Little tiny humans know. Because they're closer to the divine. Spiritually. You don't have to tell a tiny human to, um, to go and hug somebody if they feel like hugging them. If they feel like hugging someone, they're going to do it. And if they don't feel like doing it, they're not going to. You're working through your fears. You're healing your inner child. Um, you're divinely protected on all levels. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, 3D, 5D, 8D, QD, HD, RD. It doesn't matter. You're, you're protected. You're protected. Um, you have and will face challenges in the future, Capricorn. That's, that's life. We can't protect, we cannot stay protected against all things in this world. There are people that we will love that will break down our walls, break through our barriers, and get to the core of our being. We will love them and they will hurt us. We cannot stay protected 100% of the time, even though it is a divine protection. This divine protection is basically, you might get hurt, but you're not going to get hurt too bad. You might get hurt, but there's a lesson to learn behind that hurt. That pain is there for a reason. Like, trust that everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. And remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. That's what your healing is. Like your healing is to learn what is really yours and let go of what isn't. All that programming, all the the um what do you call it? All I keep hearing is programming, 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 they're programmed wrong. They need to they need to reprogram themselves so basically it's like wiping your hard drive you need to wipe your hard drive and reboot all of your system you need to wipe it clean and reboot and you're doing that you're because you're renewing yourself you're coming you're you're going in you're going in the direction of rebooting yourself because the people around you it's just been a fight been a fight you're tired of fighting so now yeah you'd rather give it's a time to give rather than take so but here's the thing you're giving to yourself healing more healing yes you're healing nothing will come of this situation but show the world the real you so you might be in a situation where you need to look at the bigger picture look in a book the answers you need are going to be found within a book. Um, you are going to face temptation. That That's going to happen. I was saying it back here. So you're, in this world, you're going to face temptation. You're going to face loss. You're going to face grief. You're going to face pain. You're going to face hurt, heartbreak, whatever. A broken bone, the loss of a cat, a job, a best friend, a lover, a spouse a mother, a father, you're going to face these things. And we tend to do them alone. We tend to do them more internally. 
when as a community, as a family, as a unit, we should face these things, these certain things together. Because when we face them alone, we feel like we're alone. We feel like that causes more separatism. And what you're trying to do in healing yourself is realize that in the fact that everyone is unique, everyone is the same. We are all one, yet we are all different. We all bring a different perspective into the universe. So we are all the universe, but we're all different parts of the universe living simultaneously at once from a different point of view, from a different background, from a different place, from a different mindset. And you're learning that. You're learning that while we are all different, we're all still the universe. So when we ask the universe for manifestations, let's just say when we ask the universe for manifestations, miracles, we pray, it is what it is, whatever you believe in, that's your belief. Don't knock mine, I won't knock yours. You shouldn't be watching me if you want to knock my belief. That's, that's all I'm going to say because I spread positivity and love even though I tell you how it is and I'm bluntly honest. I do it with love. And you shouldn't be coming here to knock someone that is trying to spread positivity and awareness to the collective when you're, you're coming on there, you're trolling their page and you're just spreading more negativity. That's just messed up. All right. I don't go to your page to troll your crap. Understand. Understand. There, there's a level of respect. And, and Capricorn, you got that respect. You know. You're not going to come on my page and just start trolling it because, well, you had a bad day. All right. I know that. You know that. We all know that. Capricorn ain't like that. It's just not. That's not going to happen. So when I tell you that these things happen, right? Mind you, I delete all of negative the negative comments. And it's not because like, oh, I'm trying to keep like a good face on myself. It's just, I don't think you guys deserve to hear some of these comments. And I don't think I deserve to hear them, but I just delete them. So that way you guys don't have to deal with them. Because I know a lot of us on this channel are impasse. And not only are we impasse, we fall into the group of rebel, warrior, impasse. We feel the injustices of the world and want to fight to make them right. That's, it makes us want to help and heal others. But here's the thing that just because we have the ability to heal and, and you don't, you may not understand your full healing yet, but here's the thing. You have the ability to activate someone else's self healing powers. You do not have the ability to actually heal another person. They heal themselves. They just believe it was you and that you gave them the power to do it. And you helped them activate it because you gave them the courage. You gave them the belief. You, you gave them the truth. And they... Oh my goodness. Like, I can't... One, two, three, and ones. So you're, like I said, you're on a cycle and you've got the strength. You, you know you have the strength. You know that it's there. Not only do you feel it, because, hey, yeah, you yeah, know, you are on a path of self-healing, but you are also on a path to help activate the healing in others. This is a, this is a commendable journey. This is a very, very difficult journey, too. And when you're on this path, because I know exactly what path you're on, I'm, I'm, I've been on this path. 
Um, I may not be a Capricorn. I'm not even sure if I have any Capricorn placements in my chart, but I've been on this path. It's a, it's a very, very deep spiritual path. Now, it can be stressful. Change of any kind can be stressful. And it's not such a, it's not so much a bad stress. It's more, yeah, I know you guys saw that. Live moment to moment. Like I said, trust that everything happens for a reason. Trust that where you are right now is exactly where you need to be and live in that present moment. Breathe into it. Be there. Feel it. Know it. Embrace it. Love it. Cherish it. And even if you want to change it, do so with love. Don't change it because you hate something about yourself. Change it because you want something to be better. Don't change, like, okay, let's say you want to lose weight. Don't change your weight because you hate the fat on your stomach. Change your weight because you want to be healthy and live a more active lifestyle. Just look at it from a different perspective. Don't change the weight because you hate your body and you want to change the way it looks. Change the weight because you want to be healthier. Because you want to do more things. Or because you want to love the way you look in your skin. Not because you hate it, but because you want to love it. All right? It's time for you to step out of your comfort zone. You have the strength. You have the ability. You are right there. You're right there. And you're going to, Capricorn. You're going to. And your fight, your fight is more of an internal fight. You are grieving something. You've you've let go of a tremendous amount of guilt and pain and sorrow you've let down an addiction or codependent cycle or a toxic cycle and you have started over listen you're doing a great job if nobody has told you today, I love you and you're doing amazing. I love you and you're doing amazing. And you deserve to hear that. Now we've come to the end. If you've stayed down for the ride and you've caught my vibe and you want to join my tribe, come on over and subscribe. Like, share, comment, do your thing. I appreciate you all. And... I love you. Peace.